Hello everyone, my name is Cole of Beast Player Studios and we are back with the third episode of Ruby Volume 6. Today's episode is insane. You're going to hear me say that a lot throughout this volume. I feel just episode 3 is such a huge plot dump that it's amazing. It fills in so many cracks about Oz and Salem, where they came from, why they are what they are, etc. So let's begin with the recap. Salem was a princess stuck in a tower by her father, in a world where magic is abound, and she couldn't live in it. But one day, a man by the name of Ozma came to save Salem from the castle, and he sounds like Oscar, obviously. If you couldn't guess, this is the first Ozpin. Then they escape, and they live happily ever after. <laughs> Psych. The dude got sick. Salem then looks for a way to bring back Oz to the point where she found the Fountain of Life. Then we get to see the life guy from the World of Remnant shorts, who has like, weird deer antlers and is made out of light or magic or dust or something. He says like the normal yada yada life and death go hand in hand. You can't stop that, and Salem is not accepting it. She refuses to listen to the God of Life, which is badass, you know, kinda. She thought, I'm going to go see the devil and hope he brings my dead lover back to life. And then he, the devil, guy, the chaos brother, creepily contorts himself to greet Salem. So, he brings back Oz, and that didn't fly too well with the God of Life. So, they have a little debacle, bringing back Oz to life, to death, to life, to death, until the Life Brother brings up that Salem is pretty much given the Chaos God here sloppy seconds. Like saying, she came to me first, asking me to bring him back. I didn't want to do it, because that's wrong. So... The, the death god or chaos god, whatever you want to call him, apologizes that he did this to his brother. Then Salem, not having it, so she she stupidly tries to attack both of the gods. That didn't work, obviously. So they teleport her back to the fountain and cursed her with immortality. Just a little sprinkle of that. And then she went full atheist mode and was like, fuck the gods, who needs them? Salem then attempted to kill herself with a sword, and that didn't work. I don't know what she was thinking. I guess she doesn't know what immortality means. So with her new power, or I guess curse, she built an army of people, random citizens and leaders throughout the world and went to go kill the gods. That didn't go too well. You see, you don't go and mess with the gods of chaos and life without expecting some consequences. Maybe a few, but no, they killed all of humanity because of their actions, which is understandable. Humans are kind of dicks. After her second attempt of deicide, she travels the world in search of a way for her to die or to get peace, to kill the gods. And this is when we discover the Black Pit of Grimm from Volume 4. Right? Yes. She goes inside of it and takes a little bubble bath in that good old black goop and she comes out as what she looks like now. You know, the white face, black sclera, red eyes, and the white hair. You know this already. It's not very... It's not that special. That's just how she did it. She just crawled in the pool and she came up all sudsy and evil. We then pick up with Oz in heaven. I think... Uh, he says it's like in between planes, but, but but whatever. Life Bro tells Oz that they're leaving Earth and won't come back until the four relics are brought together and they will judge humanity. Their hopes are that humanity will band together and become unified and peaceful. And if they are, when they return, they will live amongst us once again. And if we're still violent big fat meanies and stuff, then they will just wipe us off the face of reality, so... Oz has the task of judging when the gods should return to judge humanity and to protect the relics from whoever would want them. And then Oz, being the good old boy he is, brings up that he wouldn't be happy unless he had his love with him. Then the god of life is like, oh, she's there, she fucked up, and 
then this is when we start the resurrection of Oz. We kind of cut to a new white-haired dude in a place getting attacked by Grimm. He doesn't remember his name, I think at least. I know Oscar said like he doesn't remember, but whatever. Around this part brings in Faunus. Seeing them locked up in cages like animals, which isn't cool, dude. Don't 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 lock Faunuses in cages. That that's uh that's wrong. And there's no magic on Earth. Anywhere. But then what's a semblance? Is that not a magical ability or is it just a talent? What is the part of your aura? Is aura magic? Like, why did they let humans have aura and semblance but take away their magic but also leave dust? These are some stupid gods. But, eh. Then Salem and Oz discover each other in a little hut and talk about things business as usual, you know? Uh, they have the idea of becoming gods themselves to the point where they build a kingdom, worshippers, people that love them, and they become beings that save the world from Grimm. But Oz isn't okay with this, just wasn't his mission. By the way, Oz and Salem had four daughters. Take a big guess who these four daughters are. I guess you could say they're very special maidens. If you catch my drift, yeah, um, may maybe, honestly, I don't know this, could just be a red herring, so what? A After Oz and Salem have an argument over their ideals, Oz tries to sneak his children out of the castle, and that didn't work. There's a lot of that didn't work in this episode, a lot of dumb decisions. Oz is stupid, and didn't think that Salem would be watching, and they fight. They have such a huge fight that the castle breaks and crumbles. We have no idea what happened to the daughters. I think they died. So after that, Oz is resurrected over and over again and learns from each life. And finally in one life, asks Jin how to kill Salem. And the genie said, you can't. So our heroes are fucked. Unless they can summon these gods or find some hack to seal her away, someone needs to learn the Mafuba, if you know what I mean. That would be very helpful right now. And we end off with that bombshell. Salem can't be killed or destroyed or anything. That we know of. So, we have a wild ride ahead of us. Now, on to my overall review. This episode was amazing, obviously. We finally got answers to what we've been asking since Volume 3, where three volumes of no answers to any of the questions that were raised in Volume 3. But now, we do! We finally know everything about Oz and Salem. All of the Summer Rose theories can go die in a hole, but to be fair, it is a fun idea. It never made sense, but it was fun. Like, imagine Ruby and Salem having an epic battle with Sives, mother versus daughter. It, it would have been cool. But it was stupid. Kind of. I guess. So, all in all, this episode was very satisfying. It filled in cracks, it answered a lot of questions, and it was fun and kind of depressing. Kind of, sort of. Yeah, it was sad. So, I hope you all enjoyed. I had a really fun time making this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the 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 scripting. I read this all off a script. Um, I hope it was more clean, more concise, more to the point. Um, and I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you later.